Hey guys, John from JSP here. Today we're gonna to talk about something new that we've been working on. It's a low profile oil pan for your Beams engine swap. When you complete a Beams engine swap into an A86 or other similar chassis, you're forced to mount the engine as low as possible to clear the hood because in this case, the Beams engine is much taller than the original 4AG engine. So as we mount the engine as low as possible, what ends up happening is the oil pan will actually hang below the cross member and that can be very problematic. As the engine oil pan hangs below the cross member, it becomes now the lowest point on the front of the vehicle and is susceptible to being scraped, damaged, smashed, all of that good stuff. And uh, our goal with our low profile oil pan is to prevent all of that from happening. We start by reverse engineering the stock oil pan and coming up with a prototype design. Something that we can just 3D print and bolt it onto the engine just to see if our fitment is correct before we go any further. After the first 3D print, we go back to the CAD and we make any changes that are needed. We then 3D print again and go through a test fit process. This can take multiple times of design, 3D print, test fit, make revision. Our goal is to create an oil pan that has the same capacity as the original oil pan, but now sits flush or slightly above the cross member so it's no longer in danger. Once we're happy with the design, then it's time to go back into CAD and program the CNC machines. Here we're machining the oil pickup housing. This is a very critical part of this oil pan because it needs to be low profile, but also capable of resisting oil aeration and starvation. Next we machine the retaining flange that holds the steel mesh screen to the bottom of the pickup housing. Here's a look at the final housing all put together. Next we machine the upper half of the oil pan. The oil pan has to be machined from two separate pieces because the width and length of the oil pan is actually larger than the original bolt pattern of the stock oil pan. In this case, we machined the internal baffle, but the production versions will all be laser cut and TIG welded. Here's a look at the final CAD design and the final prototype. Here's our prototype internal trapdoor setup around the oil pickup. Again, the production version will all be laser cut and be a little bit nicer than this. After we're happy with all of the baffling, then we can install the lower portion of the oil pan. Next, we put oil in the engine, warm it up, and get it ready to take it for testing. For testing, we installed a couple of gauges. We installed an oil pressure gauge and an oil temperature gauge to keep track of all of the oil data. We knew that this was going to require some rigorous testing to make sure that the design of the pan was going to be okay. So we headed out to Willow Springs International Raceway up to the balcony skid pad. The testing consisted of a couple of different things. First, we're going to start off by just doing some simple circles, low RPM, make sure there aren't any major issues with the design. We want to catch these early on so that we don't cause any engine damage. Assuming it passes these low RPM, low speed tests, then we're going to increase the RPM, increase the speed of the circles, the number of circles, we're going to do figure eights, we're going to do everything that we can to try to starve this engine of oil. We're going to keep a close eye on the oil pressure and oil temperature to make sure that there aren't any issues. The tests were performed in both right hand and left hand circles, as well as figure eights. As you can see here, this is just second gear going in circles for minutes at a time. Again, this early test is just to pick up on any major issues. If we see a pressure drop at these low speeds and low RPMs, there's a serious problem. So we want to catch it early.
As the oil temperature comes up and we don't see any issues in initial circle testing, then we start to increase the speed a little bit. As the engine speed is increased and the vehicle speed is increased, we are increasing the risk of starving the engine. So we keep a very close eye on everything that's happening. Initial testing proved to be successful, so then we go ahead and change directions of the circles. The same test is performed again, but only in the other direction. While this can seem redundant and unnecessary, it is very possible for the oil pan to be successful in one direction, but not successful in the other. So it's important to do it in both directions. After I'm happy with the initial testing, then it's time to have a little bit more fun. This testing is not putting a ton of strain on the oil pan design, but I just wanted to make sure that transitioning from left to right and high RPM revving, there were still no issues. After the first session, it was time to bring the car back into the pit, check the oil level, check for any leaks, just make sure that everything was okay. I did three sessions total. The second session I didn't really video at all because it was just more of the same. Just a little bit higher speed, a little bit more RPM, and everything seemed to be fine. So the third session I just decided to go out and have a little bit of fun. Throw as much as I could at it. This is actually the first time that I've really driven the car since completing the beam swap. So this last session was really just really refreshing after all the time and effort that we've put in. After a long hot day at the track, it was time to bring the car back to the shop and take it all apart. What we're looking for here is we're going to drain the oil out, make sure the oil is still in good condition, make sure there's no debris that comes out with the oil. We're going to disassemble the oil pan completely, make sure that there weren't any leaks anywhere, make sure that the oil pickup screen is not blocked. We're going to make sure that all of the trap doors are still functioning properly. And that's about it. This low profile oil pan has taken a couple of months to go from idea, concept, design, and to development. There's only one or two very slight changes that I'm going to make for the production version. I'm very happy with how the testing went and I can't wait for you guys to see the finished version. Please comment below any questions, concerns, ideas. Anything that you have to say about this oil pan design, we're totally open to feedback. We want to hear everything that you have to say.